Good morning everybody. Before I start the class, I hope you must have read the explained topics. To make it more clear today, I will explain those topics by doing an experiment which will be your assignment for today. You must be seeing that today I am having lot of different types of seeds in a bowl. Can you name them? With the help of forcep, I am telling the name of the seeds which I have taken in my bowl. Chickpeas, Rajma, Moong, Gram seeds which are easily available in our kitchen. But today I will do the experiment with only the chickpeas which is available in our kitchen very easily. So children, I have taken a bowl. In that bowl, I have kept some chickpeas. And in another, another bowl, I have taken water. So I will take these chickpeas and I will keep it in the bowl which is containing water. And I will keep those chickpeas for overnight. In the morning, you will find that those seeds have swollen up. Then I will take a clean cloth, put these seeds in the cloth and tie it loose. Sprinkle water on them for 2-3 times throughout the day. Now leave it as it is for one more night. Next morning, you will see a tiny white root-like structure coming out of the seeds. We call these seeds as sprouts. Sprouts are nothing but germinated seeds. When we take one sprouted seed and carefully peel off the seed coat, then we can absorb the different parts of the seeds which we have discussed in the first class. After removing the seed coat, you can see the seed leaves. These are the seed leaves. As chickpeas is a dicot seed, you can see that these two are the seed leaves which are also known as cotyledons. And this one is the embryo which is also known as the baby plant. So children, I hope the explanation part which we did it in the first day, now it is more clear by doing this experiment. And one more thing children, I want to say that these sprouted seeds are rich in proteins and vitamin C. So children, I hope the experiment was very easy and I think you should practice it at home as it is your today's assignment. Thank you.